Good afternoon students, I hope um, this video finds you all well. I'm going to be brief. Um, this week I wanted to cover uh, the pronunciation of the S and ES endings in the simple present. I'm going to start right away with rule, rule number one. When the this one is pronounced after the consonants P, T, K, and F, or the sounds of those consonants. For example, here, we say stop, and then when we pronounce the S, it's going to be stops, put, puts, work, works. And then the F is also represented by the G and H, laughs. Rule number two, Z. after B, D, B, L, M, N, and all of these consonant sounds. Here I'm going to give examples of this one. Rub, rubs. Come, comes. Love, loves. If you notice, this one is walks, but this one has a vibration like Z at the end. So it's going to be loves, read, reads, spin, spins, bathe, bathes, bag, bags, sing, sings, pay, pays, feel, feels, hear, hears, go, goes. Now the third rule is going to be the is. This one is normally found when we have the s, the s, z, sh, ch, j, and the x sounds. Here I'm gonna give you examples kiss, kisses, buzz, buzzes, wash, washes, watch, watches, judge, judges, relax, relaxes. So these are basically the three rules that um, you must practice to learn. Here in this one, um, the quiz is going to be similar to this one. I'm going to give examples of verb, for example, wakes. And then I'm going to give you the three options here. You have to tell me which one it is. For this, you just have to look at the rules these rules over here and then go back to the verb and then pronounce it jogs it's gonna be s, z. this one is gonna be the correct answer takes it's gonna be the first one s, brushes it's gonna be the last one eats it's gonna be the first one reads it's gonna be the second one. Washes. It's gonna be the third one. Drives. This one. Starts. This one. And then the rest, of course. Now moving on to our second part of the quiz. I explained. Uh, last week, the simple present for the negative statements and contractions. So it's pretty simple. I'm not going to read all the paragraph because um, it's not necessary. But I'm going to give example here. The astronauts, remember that is plural. plural. So we use don't. Don't. Don't is used with I you, we, and they, or with two or more people, or when the professions are in plural. For example, teachers, professors, or nouns in plural, chairs, dogs, cats. So cats, so the same, you know, we use don't. But we use doesn't. We use doesn't where? We use doesn't when we talk about um, the 
subject she, she, he, and it. It is represented by the dog, the cat, the computer, the table, in singular. So here we have an example, doesn't. And pay attention here to the verb. When we have the when we use doesn't, we don't have to add any s to the verb. So that's the rule. And I'm gonna go to the next uh, practice. Here you have the rule. You have to study this. You have to learn this part. And please pay attention to the part where it says be careful. In negative statements with does not or doesn't, do not add s to the base of the of the ver of the verb. So here we have the correct one. She doesn't exercise every day. A mistake that students normally make is that they add s even though they are using doesn't. Remember that when we use doesn't or do, does not, we do not we don't add any s or es to the verb. The verb goes um, in its uh, regular form or in its base form. Just an example: the teacher, the teacher does homework. This is an example: homework. The teacher does homework. But if I want to change this into negative, it's going to be like this. The teacher doesn't do. And why? Why am I using do instead of does here? Because the rule says when we are using doesn't, like in this case doesn't, the verb does not um, have any s or we don't have to add any s to the verb. The verb comes back to its um, base form. So this is the base form of the verb uh, does do. So we use do here. So it's pretty cool that you review the rules that I cover about the adding of s or es to the verb, especially with he, she, or it. This part here, number two, astronauts, doesn't or don't. We need to pay attention here. Since astronauts is in plural, we don't know the number, but we know that they are many, probably two, three, four astronauts. So for plural, we use then don't. Don't work all day on Saturday. An astronaut, here and this little word indicates singular, singularity with just one person. So when we are using just one person, one profession, then the one that we must pick is doesn't. And pay attention here to the verb. The verb doesn't have s, just have just has comes to the half form or the, the base form. We, we doesn't or don't. We is plural because it's nosotros. So for that reason, we have to use don't. I doesn't or don't. Here with I, even though I is singular, but the rule says that with I, we have to use doesn't. Sorry, we have to use don't. So with I, I use don't. I don't work in an office. But the, look at the, look at number six. My office. My office doesn't or don't. Here we have to pay attention to the word. Does office is in singular or plural? Plural. Here is singular because we are talking about one office. So the negation or the negative statement or the negative auxiliary that we have to add to use is doesn't. She, obviously, we use doesn't and we, you, we use don't in this case. So the quiz is going to be like this. You just have to know where to use doesn't or don't. For this, you have to review this simple rule here. It's just one rule. It's really simple. Be careful with this part. Because I'm gonna use a lot of examples that include this one, so that you know, so that I know that you already uh, learned that particular um, grammatical rule. Um, here, 
this is what this was the example here I'm, uh, all of the sentences are in affirmative what you have to do is to turn them into negative by add by by using doesn't or don't here we just have to look at the subject I with I I use don't I don't drive the work I don't drive the work so the verb goes exactly as it is right drive drive here and let's say that instead of pilot with s which is which is plural I I write a sentence like this pilot or the pilot yeah the pilot the pilot if I want to make it negative number three I'm talking about number three I'm just making it making it singular by dropping off the s the pilot this is in capital here but anyways this is just an example the pilot um, the pilot doesn't the pilot doesn't then the pilot doesn't fix plane and this is exactly how it is done in the negative right the pilot doesn't fix plane so the verb goes you know um, in its base form so there's no complication here so this is basically what I cover in in the last class that I taught and if you have any question about this topic and um, for uh, 12 and and 12 B the quiz is gonna be assigned on um, on Thursday for the rest of the group the quiz is gonna be assigned tomorrow Monday but for you is gonna be assigned on Thursday so that you have more time to ask and more time to practice um, remember also that tomorrow we start uh, the presentation of the app learning progress uh, notes so make sure that you have your notes already uh, done in order to present it and talk about them tomorrow um, this is it and I'm gonna be uploading this on YouTube so that you have it already Thank you so much for, for watching and take care.